Michelle, your company, Planning Our Day, really sets the tone for the couple's big day. It really is about doing the stationary suite that is custom and unique to them. Am I understanding your scope of work with all of that? Yes, definitely. We try to tell brides to keep in mind that they're stationary, they're save the date, and mm -hmm. their invitation is going to be the first piece that their guests see. Right. So you want to set the bar high for your right. the event that you're having. So lovely. Um, like this one in particular, you know, your guests get what this wedding's going to be before they ever even get there. And that's definitely the trend that we're seeing now is that most brides want to be unique and also set the tone for their wedding, whereas, you know, 10, 15 years ago, it was the white or ivory paneled card right. with the black print. Which I did years ago myself. Me too. Yes, Me yes. too. Um, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to do mm -hmm. something like this, but, you know, then you didn't dream of doing anything like this. This was way too modern and contemporary for that. Um, but this is definitely the way to go now um, with wedding ensembles to set the tone for your wedding to come. Well, and like you said, it's the ensemble. It's the complete detail of directions, accommodations, the response card. It comes in a complete collection that's a reflection of each, but it's not a carbon copy. Each piece of stationery is not a carbon copy um, of the save the date they're all working in companion with each other. Right, and that's where the ability, we have access to over 500 different color stocks and mm -hmm. patterns that we can mix and match for your wedding. And then you can use, you know, a piece in this and a piece in that. So when you look at all together, it's all cohesive, but yet every piece is not identical to one another. Well, too, it's a complete reflection of everything, like you said. And it's really something you need to think about at the very beginning of the planning process, because if you're getting to the point of a complete collection of design and decor, you're starting. You're one of the first designers that they speak to in the very beginning. And your theme tone and your color palette with, uh, and forgive me, I'm, I'm not sure how to call you a stationary -er. Yeah, That's not a right word. But someone that creates your stationery is really going to set the palette for your floral design, for your cake design, for your full decor. So it really is something that you need to seriously consider and have a good plan as you go in to sit down and talk with you or I'm sure you help guide them through that process. We do. Some brides I have come to me and they say this is what I want. Mm -hmm. I want A, B, C. They know colors. They know theme like you know this in particular. Mm -hmm. They know that's what they want and then we can help them make that look in their stationery and some come to me before they have an idea about what they want right. and then they're able to kind of be wide open and mm -hmm. see something that they really like and then pattern their mm -hmm. wedding to their stationery. So you can really go either way but we tell most brides if we can I love to talk to them a year even ahead of time sure. if you have that time and not so much you know that you need to do everything then mm -hmm. but we will sit down with you walk you through the whole process kind of get an idea for what you want for each piece and then I keep folders complete on each sure. bride so that she can call me and say okay I'm ready to do my invitations I'm ready mm -hmm. to do my whatever whatever um, so it really is good to have that much time mm -hmm. ahead of time for planning. Now certainly sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes right. love strikes at the moment and you decide to get mm -hmm. married in three to six months and we can work with that time frame too, mm -hmm. but it's always better to come in early and kind of map out what you want and what you like. Well, I'm finding that once clients come to us, of course we do design uh, floral decor and event decor, once uh, brides come to us, they usually, I always ask them, have you done your stationery? Bring me a copy of your stationery. And it's as though they're, you're really laying the groundwork for all the other vendors that participate in the overall theme of everything. Right. Even to, we know they get their dresses so quickly and that's, right. the first, that's almost the first defining direction for design. But the personality of who they are and their hobbies and activities and their love of the shore or the beach and uh, tropical areas would certainly define this and I think you are the very first designer that can get that out of them because often you'll get to them before I do and I'll play off what you've set in motion so that is a really neat thing how vendors can work together in designing a, a complete look for a, a client and it really becomes unique to who they are.